Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got square hue clave, and I'm going to make a jelly sandwich out of it. I've started off with yellow stopper as my base coat, and here is clave from the salsa collection. And I'm just laying down one regular old coat of this black jelly. This was suggested to me by, by my friend Connie. She was like, I bet you that would be cool. So I figured I'll give it a try, you know. Um, you know, black jellies are just kind of on their own. They're just not so, mm, you know. So doing something like a jelly sandwich, whether you're smashing glitters in the middle of it or stamping, I just think it makes the black jelly so much better. So today we're going to do a little bit of both. Got Woody out there doing a little bit of cleanup. Yes. I'm also going to be using this pure ice, and it's called Dazzle Me. And that's that silver hollow that I bought. And I'm going to use that on my accent nails. Look at that. Mm, blingtastic. Love it. And we're going to go in and do another coat of clay on top of that because that's how you do a jelly sandwich. You just layer that stuff up, you know. Like I said, whether it's stamping or glitter that you put in it, you know, all of it works. Woody's got to, you know, help us out again because it's just one of them days. So I'm going to be using this plate and it's one of the new ones, the acrylics, and it's XYL26. They're very hard to read. I'll also be using the Nicole Diary White and NS01 and my new Conad Stamper and my Conad Scraper. And I did try putting this over a darker background to see if I could get the images to kind of show up better, but they really don't. So, you know, it, it is what it is and we're just going to roll with it. But look at that. Excellent pickup. And delivery yes that's what i'm talking about so first impressions acrylic plates thumbs up we will definitely be playing with them a whole lot more and you just scrape the mess out of them just scrape them don't be scared they're etched very deeply and i'm sorry i'm blocking that with my finger but you know i wanted to get that diamond part of it kind of in the center of the nail so we're gonna do this again. I am really, really pleased with the acrylic plates. I have played with them some, you know, off camera, you know, just to see how well I could, you know, get them to work. And I, I didn't have any issues with any of the images from any of the plates I played with. So I'm gonna shine that down. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. as I normally do, you know, and just trying to get up all the little bits and stuff that are sticking off. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with some more clave from this square hue, and I know it just really looks like I'm totally messing up right now. It's like, oh girl, what are you thinking? But I am going to try to get some of that back off the nail just kind of thin it down but I want to make sure it's got some of it all over and it kind of gives it a shadow effect kind of like it it's pretty cool here we go Woody get busy yes so there we go and I'm gonna do that to the other two nails and I do have a confession this middle nail will change um, during cleanup, I bumped it and decided I was not starting all the way over. So you'll see what I do. You'll see. We've all been there. You know, I went from having one accent nail one time to um, ending up doing all of them because I kept bumping stuff. And the best way to cover up a bump is to put something on top of it. At least that's my thinking. Woody is getting a workout with this jelly, I'm telling you. I do really like how it softens that stamping by doing this second coat of the Jelly Black Polish. I really did enjoy that look. I thought it, you know, was a little toned down, not, not in your face, not, you know, as noticeable, but, you know, of course me, I'm staring at them, I notice it. So here we go with Salon Perfect for the, my top coat. And as you can see, what I ended up doing was I just ended up making my middle nail look just like my ring finger. 
<laughs> we just did that glittery hollow topper. And then of course put some more jelly polish over the top of it. But that's how we fix that. As you know. Got too many manis to do. I can't be just, you know, too obsessed with one. So we're moving on. Cutting our losses. In the end, I really did like this manicure. My thumb is done just like my middle and ring finger. And I really did like that. Loved it, loved it. So thank you, Connie, for the suggestion. And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.